past us are ahead. Who knows how many illnesses that thing has? The mouse frowned upon the harsh words his friend had just said. They didn't want to get him in trouble or even fight with him, but what the hedgehog said made a part of them just so. They didn't even know which word to eat they could use. Uncomfortable. Angry. Upset. Whatever it was, they looked the hedgehog straight in the face and said, Well, they seem new here. I've never smelled them here before. Maybe they are lost. So, I have decided to help them. You don't have to come with me if you are too unsure. And without another word, they started to walk up to the bigger creature before them. As the mouse got closer, the animal flinched and turned to look at them. A rough, high voice said, Who's there? That sound nearly made the mouse turn around. Maybe it really was too dangerous to go near a rat. But when the voice could be heard again, the mouse could hear a new tone in it. Not aggressiveness, but insecurity and kindness. I'm so sorry if I'm not allowed to be here. I just don't know where to go. That was all the mouse needed to hear and took their last tiny brave step towards the creature, which turned out to be a white rat with bright red eyes. She was holding a small berry in one of her paws, while the other was fidgeting near her head. No, no, it's okay. I'm sorry if I scared you, said the mouse. The rat relaxed a bit as the mouse spoke on. I have lived in these parts of the woods ever since I was a child, so... Can I help you with anything? A small smile hushed about the red's face, and they talked on for the rest of the dawn. So... I guess the moral of the story here is... instead of traditions. Of course, you always have to put your own safety first. And traditions are there. And norms are there for a reason. But also, don't let that stop you from showing love and kindness. think deserves it, because that's the most important part. So, if you're still listening, 